Okay loves, so I'm back. I went ahead and showered and got dressed. I moved the ponytail back because it was up too close and I wanted it to hang just to the back like that. So I got the look that I'm looking for and I laid everything back down. This is the dress, it's by Tahari. I'll have it on my Instagram or Facebook so just follow me on my socials. The link is in the description box. I'm running short on time, so I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup really fast. Everything will be listed in the description box. I don't know, I have this like icky, stomachy thing going on, so I'm trying to get some emergency to get rid of that, but I do not want to ruin this dress, so I'm going to put a towel around myself, so I would be so upset if I got makeup on this, so I'm going to put a towel around me and beat my face really quick so all right the ponytail is looking good right I like it so I'm trying out new makeup and a little bit of old mixed with new so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be using first I'm gonna take my primer this is by makeup forever it's my first time using it I'm a very oily chick so I'm gonna be using some primer on my t-zone so I'm going to take a little bit and add it to the bridge of my nose and around it and my forehead and my chin as well. This is definitely a nice matte um, oil mattifier. I think it's an oil mattifier. They just call it a primer. But I like it to help reduce my oil. So I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix and it's the NW45 which I'm kind of moving against because it makes me way too orangey looking and I'm definitely more of a cool tone but I tried the NC50 out and I didn't quite like it I also have tried the Too Faced makeup I didn't like that either so I'm in the middle of like trying to find a foundation that truly does match so this may look a little bit on the orange side I did get a little bit of a tan from Jamaica but nothing like super duper tan but it looks light but it will all blend in trust me so I'll put a little bit of that on my face I do color correct sometimes with the concealer but just because of time's sake I don't have a lot of time I have to get to this Christmas party so I'm not gonna be doing that I'm gonna take a beauty blender and just blend everything into my face and I actually do my eyebrows first I'm tripping but you know I just it doesn't too much matter but I do do my eyebrows first so I'll do that after this see that happens too like sometimes the primer doesn't all the way going into my skin so it's not fully blended in but I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows I'm gonna use a spoolie to um, make my eyebrows shaped first so do that and I haven't gotten my eyebrows waxed in about two weeks so they are kind of in need of a wax but as long as you fill them in and you line them up it should be just fine this is a cheap eyebrow pencil from the beauty supply store. It's in just brown. I'm trying to use a, a lighter color. I typically use Color Girl, but they've been running out of the Espresso, so this is my backup. So this is what I have for today. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. So I zoomed in so you guys can see me a little bit better. Hopefully that helps. So I'm just going to continue to fill my eyebrows in with my eyebrow pencil. And I don't want to make them too dark. So I use LA Girls HD Concealer in the shade Yellow Corrector for my eyebrows just to highlight them. And I'm just going to shape my eyebrows. Then 
Then I'm gonna go back with my foundation and just layer it. And blend it in with the Beauty Blender. And I don't know, I just take a foundation brush and blend in a little bit better. So next one I'm gonna do is contour. I don't wanna do a lot of contouring, so I'm gonna take the same yellow corrector, the LA Girls Yellow Corrector, and I'm gonna apply it right underneath my eyes. I don't want to get cakey, and I feel like this primer is making me kinda of cakey like already, and that's not what I want. So I'm just gonna add some of this right underneath my eyes, a little bit to my forehead, the bridge of my nose, in my chin okay so next i'll take a beauty blender and blend all of that in so next i'll take my fenty beauty this is the contour stick it's in the darkest shade of the brown and i'm gonna add it to the side of my cheekbones to contour it and add it around my face And I also do my jawline. And then it will do the bridge of our nose. Very, very lightly. Okay, so that's what that will look like. And I take a brush and I blend it all in. It doesn't quite look fully blended, but don't worry, it will all pull together. Next, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup Highlighting Setting Powder. So I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and add it into the setting powder and apply it to my cheeks. I also like to add some right underneath my jawline, so about here. So while my face bakes, I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette that I got from Target. It literally was like four bucks. It's called Royals, and it has some beautiful colors in it. I'm going to take, let's see, this neutral color called Matley and apply it to the bottom of my eyes, and then I'll highlight it with the gold. Then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and just blend that all the way out. So I'll take this gold color here and I'm going to add it to my eye ducts. I'll just add it to my lower eyelid as well. I'll take this brush here and I'll just blend it all in together. I'm going to take the same brush and highlight my eyebrows slightly, just run it through and it give you a nice beautiful glowiness right above your eyes. So that's nice. I like that. Cool. So my face has baked long enough. I'm just going to take my foundation brush and brush off the excess. So I'm going to be using this L'Oreal True Color Match. I'll have it in the description box. This is not what I typically use. Typically use. I typically use Fashion Fair oil control, oil control Loose Powder. I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm just using my backup. So I'm going to use some of the foundation and apply it to my face. This helps bring everything together. This gives me my color back. It uh, blends the highlight in. I like this a lot, but it's not oil free. So that's the only issue with this. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my liquid eyeliner, okay? So that's one of my winged eye. I'm gonna do the same on the other one. So 
So that liquid eyeliner was from e.l.f. Next, I'm just going to take some regular mascara. I literally got this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put some on my eyelashes before I put my lashes on. Next, I'll add my lashes. These are the Broadway brand. And the number is 138. I love these. They are the bomb.com. So when I take some bonding glue, I have not upgraded. It works really well for me, so I'm going to stick with it. Okay, you guys? So I'm going to add some bonding glue to my lash strip. Yes! So I would normally add some setting spray, but I don't want to take this beautiful, wonderful, just velvety beautifulness. This makes me really matte, and I love a good a good setting powder, but that makes me look way too matte. So I'm going to add my earrings. I got these from Charlotte Bruce. I wanted to wear my hair in a ponytail so yes, you can see my face, and also so that you can, you know, appreciate the earrings. So I'm planning on looking like Mariah walking into this wonderful Christmas party. Got my whole snatch. Oh, you know what? One more thing. Last, I'm going to add my Loose Setting Powder by Laura Mercier. I cannot pronounce it correctly. Whatever. I'm in a rush. It really doesn't matter. So I have it in the shade Deep, Medium Deep or something like that. So I'm just going to add some of this to my foundation brush and knock off the excess. And then just add it to my face. Now this is supposed to stop me from being like super duper oily, okay? So I hope that it does that because I can get really oily. I like how it sits on the skin though afterwards. Hmm. I like. Yes. Hmm. That's nice. Okay. I see you, Laura. I'm gonna grab my Woo Woo Riri whatever lipstick and I'm going to add it and then I'm gonna get going. Just one moment. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add my lipstick. The stick on this is broke, so I do apologize. All right, so there we go. There you have it. That is my final look. My camera is about to die. So that's the finished look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry I'm in a rush. I gotta head over to this Christmas party. It is almost seven o'clock. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. For full pictures, I'll have everything on Instagram and Facebook, so follow me there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Everything I use will be listed in the description box. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Have a blessed day. Bye.